Happy Friday, everybody. Eric Rogers here with Stephen Stein and Gabe Asor, your National Sales Directors, and uh, we made it. April 22nd, a couple big holidays today, uh, Passover, and it's also Earth Day, so uh, they're doubling down on the 22nd, two for two. Remember that also, if you're just getting started as with Merchant Careers, as a sales associate or as a regional account manager, make sure you're getting your two for two. Now, uh, we've got a special guest today, a gentleman who has done an outstanding job, and this is a portrait, as you can see, the most interesting man in the Northwest, and Jonathan Hardin is going to share just a couple of things that are working for him. He's also going to share the fact that he was recruited just like you guys. He got started just like you guys. He's in the field just like you guys. And what's working for him? Because Steven Stein, this guy, is uh, pretty much uh, coming out of the gate, guns blazing. Top dog. Yeah, yeah. There's a, he is not wasting time. Now, before we get started, Steve's going to do the introduction. Uh, I've been slacking on the happy birthdays to our current regional account managers. So today, Gordon Bronson and Jansen Metz, Happy birthday. You made it around the sun again on the marble for another 365 days. You're here. And uh, Elizabeth Allen, Hazam Jaffer, hopefully I got that right, Ed Rieger, and Tony Perk also had birthdays. Okay, so this has been a very big birthday um, for our regional account managers. Big month. So uh, April, you know, go ahead and Count back, what is it? Uh, that must have been the end of summer last year is when everybody got frisky there. So we also have uh, one of our national sales director, Vic Newton, who uh, also had a birthday uh, just a couple days ago. And, of course, we had uh, cupcakes and all that stuff. And, uh, and uh, we got him a birthday card that said 90, just as a joke. Uh, but seriously, you know, he was an eyewitness of when the pyramids were made, and it really was actual people and not aliens, okay? So he can attest. So everyone that has birthdays this week, again, we want to make sure that you are uh, getting your little moment here in the sun. And again, this is recorded. We're going to make sure that you guys can hear Jonathan's testimonial uh, for the rest of the week. So if you're viewing this and you have not got started, shame on you. That residual income is there. We pay you every month, regardless of your monthly production. That's our. That's the difference. That's our model. So, um, and residual income is the holy grail of income. So this frees up your time. So Steve, introduce our rock star for the for you know again. He's been doing this, you know, Not even a month. And it was you know, ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to. Uh, work with John. He's, he's been a, an interesting character, but I just want you to know that uh, he was skeptical, like every one of you, as well as myself. He tested us out. He walked us through, and now he's building his confidence. And uh, without a doubt, Jonathan, welcome to the team. Uh, welcome to the Testimonial Friday. And please share with these people, you know, your thoughts at the beginning and our whole conversation a little bit, and uh, tell them what you're doing now. Uh, well, that, well, thank you, Steve and Eric. Um, uh, I'm, you know, you guys, when you guys recruited me, I wasn't really sure. I actually pondered it for, I think you guys, it took you guys about a month or more to even, even thought about pulling the trigger. Um, you know, married, um, have a job, have a kid. Um, wasn't really sure because, you know, I'm, I don't. Your guys are in North Arizona. I'm in Washington State. I'm in Tacoma, and so you know, there's no person here to uh, support me. And I, and I really had a hard time thinking that you know this would work. But um, I looked into you guys, researched you. Um, you know, you know, I had to you know make a decision if I was going to do it or not. Um, Talked to my better half. And we pulled the trigger and said, well, let's give it six months. Let me give it 100% of what I got, you know. And, and if, if, I make a, if I make a mess and come out profitable, then, you know, um, then I know this thing works. If it doesn't, then it's, it's on me. Um, I believe that the fact is that if, uh, when you do something like this, that you, you give it at all. Um, I work full time, um, and I do this part time, squeezing every couple minutes here and there. 
uh, you know, to, to make this work. Um, so, uh, and, I, and I haven't even been here for a month yet. Um, I didn't think I was doing anything special, so <laughs> this is kind of threw me off the wall, but, um, you know, that's how I feel. Um, and right now, it's just up to me to make it happen, so that's how I feel. Um, and Jonathan, share with you know how you know you were skeptical about the relationship and you know the call and we you know we talk every single day and I brought in Eric and I brought in Carrie I brought in Gabe I mean the support that you've gotten because you know you're new in this business and I wanted to make sure that you were comfortable and give you the support that you got and how did you, how was the reaction did I do what I said I was going to do Oh man that's the one thing I'm going to tell you right now for anyone um you need that constant support. Um, I've been in the other businesses where they talk a lot, but they don't show a lot. And I gotta tell you right now, man, Travis, Eric, Steve, everybody that has, I picked up the phone, I know I bother you, Steve. I call you at least five, six times a day, <laughs> even when I'm not working. But to have you call me back, I know that even if I leave a message, and I know you're a busy man, you call me back and say, look, I haven't forgot about you. I'm a busy person. I understand that. I really, really appreciate it. You have no idea how, how much that means to me, more than anything else. Because if, if you call me back and say that you are going to be there, doggone it, that just, that just makes me work a lot harder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we're, we're absolutely going to be here. And, and guys, we've got a, another ram in the field. For those of you that, you know, he, uh, jo I'm glad you brought this up, Jonathan. And, and guys, we're really hitting him with questions he did not know about. Okay, he's kind of, you know, he, we're, we're all here doing this because I want it to be as natural as possible. And uh, we actually had a gentleman uh, who's a two-time uh, world bronze medalist in freestyle wrestling that is a regional account manager in Virginia Beach, Virginia, John Taylor, and uh, he showed up unexpectedly to our offices. So he just saved everybody thousands of dollars in airfare, although Arizona were not in triple digits yet heat-wise where, you know, hey, it's a dry heat, but you'd still die. Uh, you know, you've got good hair days here because there's no humidity. That's about it, right, Gabe? So, uh, but guys, he showed up unannounced and uh, checked us out. So if you're looking at us for the first time, we're real. I'm a real person. Steve's right here. He's real. Gabe uh, is real. Thank goodness no one's cloned him. And uh, we're here, and we're here for you. And if we need to get the CEO of First Direct Financial to contact some of your heavy hitters like Jonathan, you do the best of what I've seen in leveraging your existing network, your old business. Right, so it sounds to me like you, you really don't burn a lot of bridges, and you've got some big, big business where he's got contacts, but he's kind of taking it slow. So Jonathan, kind of, kind of, when you first got started, help these Rams out. What did you do first? Did you get that warm list? Did you mentally put together the the business network that you have and say, okay, I can talk to this guy about this new business I'm in? Yeah, what I did was after researching, and it really plagued me for a while. So, how do I want to come about doing this? I don't want to, I don't burn uh, bridges when I leave a company, but you know, and I build it really quick. I build relationships. So, and don't get me wrong. I mean, they're so cold leads. It's up to me to warm them up. Uh, so, what I did was I took a time, uh, spent like one or two hours, and I made a memory jogger of people who I've lightly said hello to maybe remembering me by face, uh, what they did um, business-wise, or uh, was I their customer? Um, little small little things. You would be surprised how, how little contact you had with somebody, and then all of a sudden it came a conversation, and you became somebody they remembered. Maybe for a light conversation. You might have had a conversation about your kids, and they ran a business, and, you know, and you go back to them, say, hi, you know, if you remember me, we talked, my daughter this, went to school with your kid here. That right there will warm them up so quickly, it's, it's amazing. And then from there, it's just getting out of your comfort zone and just saying, hey, you know, you know I work with, with a company that does merchant services. Um, uh, we do free proposals. I can help you out with that and, and maybe you can take a look. And if 
who can help you save money, um, you know, would you switch? And most of the time, most companies will say, heck yeah, because they only know one thing. Their bank or somebody provided them, and they don't know that there's an opportunity that they can switch. So it was, uh, so I, what I call, so I, what I did was not go after my big contacts. I went after the small, small ones, or I went out and created some by going to farmer's markets and gave out my business card uh, and saw, saw they had Square, and they said, if I can uh, lower your rate, you know, um, would you be interested in switching? And nine out of ten, they said, yeah. So I got their business cards, and then I just did follow-ups. Follow-ups are key. Once you start it, you, you go all the way straight through. So that's what I did for, this, for my small, low-hanging fruit, what I call it. Um, and I usually, you know, you get a lot of contacts, but I don't put the contacts in there until they said they're ready, they want to sit down with me. So, uh, so I have a stack of business cards that I haven't loaded in yet. But um, uh, so far, so good. Um, I really haven't got really any pushback. Um, so I don't know if anybody's out there struggling. Uh, it's it's this initial get out there and say hi, my name is, and go from there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and again, guys, I want every all of our regional account managers out there to understand that uh, you know Jonathan is utilizing, especially at the beginning here, because there is a learning curve. You know, we do have a real nice. Uh, you know, as far as training site, this training site's one of the best that I've seen now. It wasn't always like this, you know, the training site. We've added NLP, you know, Neuro Linguistic Programming Training. This is from Paul Webb, uh, you know, three to $5,000 per head. That's part of your training. And uh, this is found on your training website. And, uh, you know, you can you can learn all this. You can learn how people react and to, to certain things and how to lead with questions and the you know I know how you feel. A lot of people have felt that way, but you will find you know the three F's. You can use that all the time if you get you know somebody giving you a stick point. But do you notice that Jonathan's not getting stuck yet? You guys notice that? He, it, what's happening is he's not getting that pushback, and a lot of this has to do with his you know natural uh, you know ability from what he's learned in the past and his personality. We want you to use your personality because when you're natural, you're better. Believe it or not, you're better. Don't try to be somebody else. You're you are who you are for a reason. Okay. Now, if you're a crotchety old man. You know, uh, we get on to Vic all the time. He's already stuck. You know, he's got certain things he likes to do, uh, doesn't eat pizza, things like that. Uh, and we have Pizza Fridays when we have our meeting. And, uh, you know, the little things. But don't sweat the little things. And make sure that you're coming over here to your training uh, website and starting with the introduction here that's found under the dashboard tab. So for those of you looking at us, uh, you know, and even our free sales associates, you guys that are, you know, starting uh, at half the commissions, you're only making half the commissions, you haven't locked your area down, you still get this training too. But what, as a regional account manager, what you get, and this is what Jonathan has leveraged, is you get the bat phone to Steven Stein. You know, sales associates, you email in your questions to your assigned national sales director. Our regional account managers, you're first. You know, that doesn't mean we're not going to get to our sales associates, and you can totally start there if you want. Just make sure you're not stepping over a dollar to pick a nickel up. Because what you receive as a RAM is additional training, another six to eight hours of this uh, neuro-linguistic training. Guys, this is awesome stuff. And you really want to open that up because as a sales associate, you do not have this link. You also do not have Steven Stein. Now, Jonathan, you, you mentioned you, you're leveraging your national sales director for these questions. You know, Jonathan has a full-time job, but he's still leveraging his existing warm leads, and he had mentioned he warms them up. You know, and he understands, and that's outstanding, that there's some things that he needs to do on his end that's his job to warm those leads up. Now, we've got some things coming for, all, you know, our regional account managers on an inbound basis. Okay, so as soon as you, it's not launched yet, 
but as soon as you finish all of your training modules, you will be eligible to receive inbound calls. And this is a program that will be in your area where uh, we are marketing to businesses in your area. Okay, and, and Jonathan, this is coming your way too. You didn't know that either, did you? So no. our job is to make you successful. And listen, Jonathan's not waiting around for us to do everything for him. Right? You know, well, the proposal, we only saved him 5%. Are you kidding me? We all just had our taxes done, right, John Taylor? He's, uh, again, another regional account manager buried with Liberty Tax. And, uh, boy, he's going he's gonna to get out when, as soon as he gets out of the extension. All of you guys that did your extensions, thank goodness you filed them. But 5% on a bottom line is huge. I don't care if it's $20, $50. And we can, you know, help you, coach you through that. Uh, but Jonathan, what, you know, when you, you know, the low-hanging fruit, Stephen, what's his, give me a ballpark. How many proposals has Jonathan got in in less than a month? And ballpark, what is the, the bank card's number? I would say six to ten proposals, and I'll bet you it's pretty close to hitting a million dollars. Okay, that, guys. That's, that's unbelievable. Working part-time. Working part time, and this is not a very good flattering picture of me. I really wish they changed that. It looks like I'm trying to get a fly, doesn't it? Uh, but uh, guys, you know we're down here coaching you two for two. Jonathan said the heck with that. And, and Jonathan, did you, did, you know, let me know because I think you're you're such a natural. You probably didn't even realize you kept going and you kept going. Did you set a goal for two? Uh, no, I actually stuck to go for one. <laughs> uh, I rather I went simple. I I went. Let me just do one step at a time, and um, you know, never put too much of a bigger goal in front of me where I can't achieve it. Get, do something simple. Uh, first goal was just basically get a warm lead, and then follow up with if I can do one, let's do two, and I just and then from there I went to get a proposal. Uh, fall this you know just a, don't make this don't make this mountain too big you know start with a molehill and work your way up um, that's why I, you know I don't want to you know I got a full time job I don't I can't climb a mountain right away and because I do have a learning curve I've not, I haven't even been here for a month yet I've only been here what maybe this is my third week I think so yeah. I I don't I you know and I'm still learning but I I rather learn why I'm going than sit on my my keister and and not get out there and perform. Uh, it doesn't help me if I sit on the couch. Um, it helps me when I'm out there, you know, in front of people. Jonathan, you're probably one of the most self-motivated, self-directed, self-driven person that I've met in a while. And you're just taking the the bull by the horns and making it like everyone else is. Your um, destiny is in your own hands. You want to be in the residual income? Well, it's just not going to come to you. You got to go get it. But you know. All of a sudden, one to two to five to ten is just seems like it's happening because obviously you're building enough confidence, and now you know that we're the real deal, and we will beat or meet anybody's fees out there. Yeah, uh, we've yeah. Uh, given some proposals. I think. Uh, how How do you like your proposals, Jonathan? Uh, right now, <laughs> I got proposals coming in, and <laughs> um, I'm, I'm I'm right now they're they're awesome. They're beating everyone. Um, and it's I'm I'm at the tipping point. Um, you know things are uh, moving in the right direction. The uh, you know it's it's I'm pretty sure that you know probably by next month it's going to be a, a different conversation between you and I <laughs> and the company. <laughs> uh, but oh it's yeah, been, it's been great. It's been great. Um, proposals are coming in. Um, and it's great. I'm already getting referrals from people I've already helped just by getting them a proposal. So it's it's you know I didn't expect that to happen. Uh, so it's 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 funny how quickly I adjusted um, to the company. Um, you know, for a while I, I thought it was gonna be it was gonna be hard for me to even know the name of the company. Now it's like it's coming off my tongue so fast. It's amazing. Yeah, and see that. Yeah, that's the thing. You, you know, you guys aren't rep. You, you don't have to necessarily. Once they hear General Electric pick Card Connect, not because of price, but because of service, that we've got the New York Times, Adobe software, uh, and the list goes on and on. 
that uh, you know they're, they're going to get covered. Twenty four seven customer service. So you know your your reputation, right? This is why you know you, you don't burn a bridge. You've got a good reputation, Jonathan, and the rest of you do also. So this is something where you know Deborah Buchanan, you could get out there, and uh, we understand. And this is why I pulled this up uh, just a moment ago on module one. You know you've got your partial uh, manual down here, your sales manual for these classes. And uh, you know, even the sales associates, our SAs, get this as well. Uh, this get acquainted sheet. Make sure you're getting this to your national sales director because you know we're going to find out what your immediate and long-term goals are. There's a different way, uh, you know, that the national sales director uh, will help you, you know, manage you, coach you, and uh, you know, if you want to be a beginner, 101. You know, Jonathan may have picked this first, not realizing just if you apply and the fact that every company that accepts Visa, MasterCard, and Discover is a lead, right, Jana? They are, that's a lead. And you can save them money. We're going to make sure of it. It's a little. If it's a lot, we're going to blow them out. And, this, and to make you uh, uh, successful and build that book of business because three, Five years from now, you know, these guys have just gotten hammered, and some of you realize this, well, you know, I have five of you come through here every week. Well, no, it's not just merchant sales. You've got other sales reps out there for other products, but we get it. We're all grouped together, but I'm different, and Jonathan has already made this different because he's basically not even cold calling at this stage. He is, you know, he is a customer. Did you hear that? You know, I'm your local rep, right? I'm not somebody that just flew in town. I actually go to your restaurant. I can get a lot of people running through here also. And, uh, you know, we're going to teach you how to do this. And make sure you're getting this Get Acquainted sheet to your national sales director. If you're getting started, if you have been with us for a while, make sure you're doing that too because you can do this part-time, full-time, or any time. Even as a regional account manager, you're, you've locked your area down. We're not going to put anybody next to you. And you're going to go out there and uh, basically, though, contact the businesses that uh, you know first. So for those sales associates, USAs, I'm not sure why you're taking half the money for the same work. You know, if it's not happening, and we had mentioned this to Jonathan, right? There was no pressure. If it wasn't working out, if you weren't even, if your residual check wasn't even covering your, you know, RAM fee, that, you know, 100 bucks a month, which is nothing for what you get, by the way, um, we're going to downgrade you anyway, right? Five, six months, right, Steve? I mean, there Absolutely. was no pressure for Jonathan to go. Now, we do pressure you to go and get your first two because that's where you're going to learn. That's The sooner you get started, and it's just like any sales, if you present a proposal in person, hopefully, not just send it over and pray that they like it. You know, you're there. You're explaining to them. You got to do this. And the added benefits of a Card Connect and you. You are a big part of this equation, Rams. And uh, this is something that when you're there, you know, you'd be surprised if you just get started how quickly you pick this up and run with it. This is why Jonathan's here today. You know, he's brand new. You know, called him up. He, you know, we're we like, woke hey. him up. We woke him up. Yeah, we're like, hey, let's go. And uh, but the same thing with the proposal. The more that proposal sets out there, you know, every day the merchant loses interest, and I think the number is up to twenty five percent. That's what Scott Tash uses, our professional trainer who worked side by side with Paul Webb. You know, he's like, man, if that proposal's there and you lose four days, they, you know, come next Monday, they completely forgot about you. Same thing with you guys. The only thing we're pushing you for is to get those two proposals in and then let us, you, you'll see what happens. And again, it's a learning curve. We're going to be there for you. And as a regional account manager, you have somebody to get on the phone with. And that is a big deal. And pretty soon, Jonathan's not even going to need you, Steve Stein. He's going to be, he, you're, you're going to miss your friend. <laughs> I'll call them up anyways. Yeah, yeah, you guys just yeah <laughs> talk about the Seahawks, right? You know, go Hawks. 
So uh, yeah. yeah, so uh, you know, and again, guys, let us know if you if we need to bring in the big guns or have our uh, you know Jonathan. I don't want to you know we're not going to mention company names, but uh, kind of give these guys what you've been holding back on as far as uh, some of these big companies that you're p actually picking up a statement today, right? I am. Um, word got out. <laughs> um, the, uh, there was a meeting with two general managers at two different large companies plus an owner of one of the large companies uh, last night. I text one of the general managers, tell him I tell the two ma the general manager at one company and the other and the owner that I said hello, and wasn't thinking. Um, uh, but the, uh, they asked me what was I doing, and so they told him I work for a merchandise company, I mean a uh, credit card company. Um, and the owner said, so "How come he didn't call me?" And I've I already made it very clear to most of the people I, I've worked with in the past. I will not reach out to them yet because I'm still filling you guys out, and, and I'll take, don't take that as negatively. It's just because the fact is I'm new to you. I'm, it's it's just like a you know I'm you know I'm trying to understand and build a good relationship with you. So I don't want to go off these large companies that you know I built eight years in a relationship with. I have one that's you know that known my kid since she was two years old. She just turned 18 today. So it's it's you know, and I'm going fishing with him and his and his kids. Uh, we're planning a, a weekend trip, so I didn't want to bring up this company. But since now somebody brought it up, uh, they're they're getting up. Uh, they're going to the bank to give me one full month statement of one of uh, a location that's in seven states. Um, and that's what I was going to bring up to you later on this afternoon once I get the statement, or at least you know find out what day I get it. But uh, um, you know, that's you know, I leverage my relationship that I had with my previous companies, and they might be light. They're like the ones that you've gotten so far are from when I worked for uh, ADT, small business, and I actually helped open a, a couple of small businesses accounts. So I went recently to them and said, "Hey, I don't think you remember me. I worked for this. I worked uh, was I helped you sell your uh, get your security system. And do you remember me? Well, I just started my own business with a merch company, and you know." Uh, would you give me a shot? Would you give me a try? And then almost every single time says sure, because they already saw my face. They know who I am, and you know um, they don't mind helping. You know, uh, a lot of people like to you know uh, help people or give them a favor, do them a favor, and I usually leverage that all the time. Can you do me a favor? Can you help me? And nine out of ten, they always say yes. What can we do to help? Mm -hmm. That's what I've been trying to. That's what I've been doing. But the larger companies, yes, I, I got I got one that's coming down the pipeline right now. Nice, nice. And guys, do you notice what Jonathan's doing is just having a conversation. There's no Jedi mind tricks going on here. You know. Now again, you may need those on a colder call, but uh, when you're first getting started, you're making fifty percent commissions for the next three to five to ten years. You know, Jonathan, if he, you know, he's going to keep these accounts. So when he's out fishing, he's going to be still getting those checks for the things that he's doing now. So he can go fishing instead of being at work. That's what residual income is, is freedom, your time. Because, uh, you know, again, there was a uh, one of these little memes on social media of, uh, I think it was uh, Remy, you know, or uh, no, I, I'm getting them confused. But in other words, he basically said, you know, I have never spent money on anything I've bought. What I've done is I've sacrificed my time of my life that we have here to in exchange for whatever that product was. So that's why you guys are all here. And if you're not here, you're missing the boat. You know, and like Jonathan said, he's going all in even though he's still working a full time job. You know, you can do this. And then, you know, who knows, Jonathan, you get a couple of these, you, you may have to reevaluate what you're doing every day. Maybe you can go fishing a little more often. So that's the whole idea. And again, I just want to close this up, Jonathan. Thank you so much for thank being you, here. Thank you, John. Appreciate your time. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And I, thank you much. I'm sure we'll be on the phone later. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Give me yeah, a shout no. later. <laughs> You got it. You got it. Let me go ahead and mute you up here. Thank you. You got it. And guys, just a, you know, a couple quotes here from the chat line, and then we'll end the recording. You know, awesome, do awesome job, John. Uh, 
and you're so right about the support here, and this is from the Wolfman, Mike Wolfgang. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Larry, uh, great work, Jonathan. Uh, of the six to ten proposals, how many of those have you converted to your residual? And uh, Larry, he just got started, three weeks. So these are going to start getting through underwriting, uh, convert these in underwriting. I believe he's got a couple of those already in underwriting where you've closed the quote. That's the whole idea. So Larry, we want to make sure that uh, you know we're sticking uh, up for that because again, getting a proposal is one thing. Getting them into underwriting, now you're home free. Okay, uh, Jana Payne wanting to know about these warm leads contacted by phone. Yeah, you know, phone is not necessarily the best way to do it on a cold call basis, but uh, this is also something that you want to understand works for everybody. So, you know, and again, this is a new inbound lead generation. We've also got web. We've got a, a bunch of different ways we're going to drive your local businesses to contact you. Okay, so that is coming. Uh, Eva Miles, good to see you here, Eva. Eva has one on the board, by the way, that she uh, got up in Alpha Graphics. And uh, she says, yeah, put one foot in front of the other. Plus, you have a lot more training, uh, especially since she was recruited. So Eva's been here for a while, guys. And uh, this website is something that uh, is extremely valuable. Even if you're not going to be, you know, necessarily full-time with us, the information you're going to get right here on your training website, especially in the RAM Mastermind Training tab, is something you can take anywhere. This is big time stuff. You know, as I said, that's extremely bad. That's worth the price of admission right there. So, uh, yeah, and Jana, yeah, if you introduce in store how to connect them to Card Connect and First Direct, that's real easy. You know, you go ahead and contact Jana, your, your, your national sales director and go ahead and go that route. Now hang on here one second. Let me, uh, Gabe is in here getting real loud again. Hey Gabe, check your door buddy. Gabe, check your door. <laughs> so uh, sorry about that. He's He's been to one too many rock concerts, I think. Gabe's hard of, hard of hearing here. But, uh, uh, you know, in a book, uh, Seven Levels of Communication, that's uh, from Jerry Johnson. I'm sure that is a good one, by the way. Thank you for bringing that up. Uh, when you all get started with uh, First Direct Financial, you do get a book, an e-book called the number one best-selling sales training book for everyone. You get this. It's an e-book found on module one. Okay, it looks like uh, not appearing here. I can't pull it up. Hopefully, I had this trouble yesterday on some of the PDFs. So you do get a uh, number one best-selling book here as well on top of everything else uh, that you're receiving uh, for us to go ahead and make sure that you're doing all right, that you're making it. Because again, if you guys aren't getting the residual flow, we're, we're not successful either. That little $100 a month, we actually lose money. We're not in it for that. As a matter of fact, if you're not producing, we're not here to kick back and just have you pay that. Right? So again, you, you, what do you have to lose? So Billy White Shoes Johnson, thank you again. Great job, Jonathan. So Jonathan Harden was our uh, special guest today. He is a regional account manager and uh, he's doing a great job. You know, doing it part-time, he has a full-time job. And uh, guys, this is going to get, re it is recorded. We're recording today, Jonathan. Great job. And uh, watch it again, you know, next week. This will be up all week. So if you need a little motivation, here's a gentleman just like you. Here's a gentleman recruited just like you. Man, what he's got already within two weeks, three weeks that he's got lined up on the books, he's going to be a very happy camper for the next three to five to ten years. As long as these companies process with Card Connect and we have a price match guarantee that is lifetime, Somebody comes in behind you, we're going to, don't worry about that. We're going to do everything we can to keep it because, you know, if you're getting a residual income check, so is First Direct Financial. So we're going to do everything we can to get you guys rolling. So let me go ahead and end the recording for Stephen Stein, Gabe Asor. Uh, this is Eric Rogers. Have a great, safe weekend. Thank you for being here. This is my favorite webinar. Apologize, I went over by seven minutes. Uh, but it was well worth it. 
So, you know, for Joe Rivard, Kenna Young, you know, uh, McNabb, Aaron Marmol, Eva Miles, you know, Yossi, Tom Evans, you know, Suze, good to see you here. We've got a, Lee Settle, there we go. Leslie Sandlin, Leslie, let's get to work. She has about five different jobs, and she still has uh, put a ton on the books, too. So, uh, John Payton, go get them. You know, did you hit your goals from Monday? If you didn't, you still have today, tomorrow, and Sunday. And guys, you don't have to have, you know, where you put your selling face on and hat. ABC, always be closing. You never know who you're going to run into, right? And Jonathan Hardin had mentioned that a few times. And uh, this is a, like I said, this is one of the things, never underestimate the people that you meet. We're all the same. However, you may meet somebody that's a CEO of some company. You may meet somebody, like Jonathan had mentioned, that uh, is the, the trigger man for a multitude of companies in a you know, two-state region. You never know. Go get them. And again, the nice thing is, is that if any, any business accepts Visa, MasterCard, and Discover, that is a lead. Plenty of them. Thank you very much, guys. Hopefully uh, you got something out of this today. I sure did. Thank you.